Uh, Mystical Lady Productions. Uh, newest mix, 80s sounding original track by Stevie O Rocks. The song, a cross between Sade and Michael Jackson, lyrics are about facing your demons, written and copyrighted by Stephen Owens, produced, mixed and mastered at the Mystical Lady Productions. I love weeks like this where we get to listen to everybody's productions. Here we go. wonderful wonderful day two really fantastic tracks i absolutely love this i am assuming there's a keyboard bass though isn't it 
Stephen, I presume that's you playing all the guitars and all the vocals. Just really fantastic work. There's a couple of guitar tones in this I love. Where is it here? There's no protection. That, da, 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 da. Isn't that such a great sound? Just I love the narrowness of that. It's really great. Just like the way the top and the bottom have been shaved off a bit. Just da, 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 da. really beautiful. Really great work. Love the horns. Ba, 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 ba. There's no protection from the illusion. It's gonna find you late at night. It's the illusion. One, two, yeah. It's gonna tell you what's wrong or right. It's the illusion. It's gonna seek out. It's gonna find because it's the illusion. Illusion. Well, somebody give him some harmonies. Let's give him some harmonies. Who can sing in here and add some harmonies? Lucia, that'd be amazing. There's no protection from the illusion. It's gonna find you late at night. It's the illusion. It's gonna tell you what's wrong or right. It's the illusion. It's gonna uh, see yeah. out. It's gonna find because it's the illusion. Yeah, harmonies. Um, snare needs to be a bit more aggressive. Um, I think in the verses. Let's have a listen, maybe here. There's no way you're gonna part. You can get away with it here. There's no way you're gonna part from its best connection. Still love that guitar sound in that part. There's no way you're gonna part from its best connection. So I, I'm okay with the snare in the verses because there's enough density, but when it, um, there's not that much density, but when it gets to here, <laughs> it needs some ring, it needs some doing, doing, something on that that cuts through some aggression on the snare. Stevie Oak, absolutely love this. Um, if you can give us a bit more aggressive snare in um, in those dense sections, you can keep it in the... Um The bass, the key bass is cutting through. There could be a little bit more oomph on the low end, on the kick, just a little bit. Uh, you could probably put a bit more snap on the kick drum itself and then a bit more ring. Personally, I'd bring the hat up a little bit for the movement there. Just me, DB up on the hat. I mean, I hear it, but I think I think the hat could just help give it a bit more of a groove. I mean, it's nice. I love the slap bass there. At the moment, the kick drum's sort of sitting on top of the bass on the low end, so I think a little bit oomph below. Um, the snappiness is fine on the kick drum in the verses, but it needs to be more aggressive in the choruses. So don't, I wouldn't be afraid to put a little bit of an EQ boost, a bit of 2.5 boost, another DB in the choruses on the kick drum, a bit more low lows in general on the kick. The snare needs to be more aggressive in the choruses and the hi-hat up in the verses. So there's a bit more danciness to it. Team, the, the 
pieces go on together. You know it's illusion. And if there's a riddle in your head and you can't hear what's being said, there ain't a sound solution. I love this track. These first two songs have been superb. Yep. Multitracks, multitracks, multitracks. Please, Steve-O, thank you very much to uh, uh, Bjorn and Steve-O for just coming up with some really wonderful stuff. Absolutely superb. Sue Bleeding Perb.